They've become a popular choice, short-term rentals like Airbnbs. We all stay in short-term rentals and we all uh, want them to be available. But nationwide and in Fort Worth, the idea of short-term rentals brings out strong mixed feelings. And they had broken into my home, which is next door to it, and they had gotten in my hot tub and they had lit my chimney up. They are needed in Fort Worth. Fort Worth is one of the latest cities trying to figure out how to handle them. If most short-term rental activity is occurring in single-family homes, uh, then most of that activity is, is not legal today. In yet another public meeting Thursday, city leaders discussed potential changes in the way Fort Worth regulates short-term rentals. We'll need to find out if council would like staff to be more proactive. Right now, STRs are only allowed in some parts of the city, but not in residential neighborhoods. Now, the city is considering four zoning options, which range from keeping the same current ordinance to handling them as bed and breakfast or allowing them citywide through a permitting process. I am for STRs in the city. For some, managing short-term rentals is a gift. It's what's providing for me and my family. But others say they're concerned about neighborhood safety and housing availability. Who are we really valuing? Are we valuing the cash flow or do you value the culture? Do you value the cash flow or do you val value the constituent? City leaders say they'll consider this feedback and they're set to revisit the issue in mid-August. The timeline for a decision is still up in the air. Until then, the heated debate continues. In Fort Worth, I'm Adriana Dalba.